Good morning everyone. Uh, in this tutorial I'd like to add the remaining areas on the drawing before uh, before I look at uh, populating them with plants that we want to actually plant in here. Um, in order to do that um, first off I'd like to modify uh, or actually no I'm going to first off I'm going to freehand uh, the uh, t -t 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 the pier so the 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 path, path, uh, part of pavement which I'm just going to um, designate as a structure uh, which is just outside uh, just just on the canal uh, which borders the uh, this this side of property so what I need to do uh, let me press B for my Bezier tool and I'm going to switch off my snapping and I'm going to click here uh, because I can see that point I'm going to go past uh, the end of the fence here uh, keeping it keeping it in line and I'm just going to finish uh, right about here and that's going to be just a guideline for me so I'm just going to press enter. This is just a guideline for me uh, because I can't see very well where um, where uh, this uh, the the edge of the canal is exactly. Well, I'm just going to use it uh, like that. And now the the thing that I remember about uh, that uh, that pier uh, is that. There was a there was a shed in here, which is about this big, and then uh, the pavement extended from the pier itself, and then went in like that, like that. Uh, I'm going to do it again, like that, like that, one in like that, like that, like that, there, back to my origin, there we go. So that's drawn, it looks horrible, so I need to modify it now. I'm going to press my node tool, I'm going to press 3 the number 3 to bring it into view. I'm going to press the minus sign just to um, move it out of view a little bit. I'm going to use my trackpad to uh, to arrange it so I can see more elements. And so what do I have here? I basically have I basically can see that the path that I drew uh, in the previous videos is is too long and it's, and it's going into the area which I know that is just pa it's just pavement and and this here is is actually a fence but I'm just going to um, uh, treat this as a structure I'm not going to even bother about uh, drawing the fence because it's, it's just a minor little thing and I don't need to um, to deline delineate it on the drawing um, so what I would like to do is I'd like to do a little cleanup and what I want to start cleaning up first is this area here uh, and I'd like to move it about a little bit so I'll move this node there and I'll move this node here and I'd like to keep it um, I'm just eyeballing it so it's a bit more parallel with the canal I'll take this node um I'll take this node, bring it about there, maybe even a bit closer. I'll take this node here, and then I'll turn on snapping because I want to snap back to the uh it wants to snap to the cusp node. Um doo -doo 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 -doo. I just want to snap to my fence so what do I do maybe I could 
Maybe I could take. Hmm, maybe I could press S. Maybe I could take this element and just for now move it out of place. There. Click this element, press N, and snap it here. Okay. So S for my selection tool, press that. And now I can move it back there. It just wants to snap on its own anyway. So now I'm going to press N so I can modify this. And this is already snapping and it's snapping to the, the cusp node of this element. I'm going to take this and it's snapping to the end of the fence. Uh, which is fine. Or the other thing I could do I'm going to pull this away for a second. I'm going to click on the fence and just gently snap it to the path. It's going to move a few things, so I need to be accurate. I want to be accurate. Snap it there. This is going to. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Control Z. Highlight this first. Grab one of the nodes, move that away. Snap that to path, that to path, and that's going to be my, um, that's going to be my shed. Just going to snap this again, just to ensure that this is snapped to path because I moved, because I moved the um the, the fence. These things just um, came out of line a little bit. So I want to be accurate. There we go. That's accurate again. So now I can highlight this again. Highlight this element. Move this there. That there. I'm finding. I want to find the cusp node. Where is it? Where is my? What if I? What if I switch off this? What if I can? Just look at the cusp node. Can I find the cusp node? Uh, is there a different node? Is that a s uh, smooth node, perhaps? There we go. I found a smooth node. That's that's what I wanted. And I can uh, click that to run to the cusp node. Let's see what this does. There we go. I've got a smooth node. I found the smooth node. So I can do that. Um, I'd like to get this. And before I do that again, I'm just going to ensure. Oh, click on my path. There we go. So this will. Again, I just want to ensure that everything else is snapping properly. There we go. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. So now this will be nicely aligned, and that, uh, let's say like this, that will be nicely aligned as well. Okay. Um, now, where did I draw these elements? I, I don't actually know. So press F12. I want to go to my layers. Uh, where am I? So. Um, so this is access. Yeah, actually this is access. Um but the the last time I did it I decided that this is I'm going to call it a structure because this is um sort of like a pier. And mm, press S E I M S. Okay, good. And this is this is a structure as well. So first of all I want to change the colors of these. I want to go to um to my color palette. And I want to press Control D. Uh, sorry, not Control D, hmm. because I just copied that element, which I should be able to show. See, I made a copy. I'm going to delete that copy. Highlight this again, and this time I won't press Control D. I'm just going to press D, the letter D, and that highlighted my dropper tool. So. Um, and I'm looking at the bottom and it says click to set fill, shift click to set stroke. Okay, so clicking to set fill. What happened? 
set the fill of my element this is the same thing as, as the last time press shift click and now there we go my element has got that so I just want to uh, go to my fill and stroke and I want to change my stroke style to 3 pixels and everything is consistent now press S nope not there tab out S uh, click on this element D for my dropper tool and the same thing click shift click fill and stroke 3 enter um, press 3 to fill the screen with that okay something in there that didn't happen click that that should have happened now there we go that's done the the issue is now with layers so I'm going to go to layers and I'm going to move this to my structure layer I'm going to press Control S to save my work I'm going to go to the menu first I'll just press S for my select tool menu layer move selection to layer and I'm going to move this to structure there we go I'll take this layer uh, move this to my structure layer there you go so now I've noticed that this planting area here uh, is being overlapped uh, by this um, by this element and so the the problem I've got is that um, I want to cut out a piece of of the pier here of the pavement here with the element of my um, my planting area but the the only way to do this is when the planting area is actually above so it, as if the tracing paper is above the, the tracing paper of the planting area is above the tracing paper of my pavement there uh, just just think of a template if, if you want to cut something out the tracing paper that is the template is above the element that you want to that you want to cut out so temporarily I would need a copy of this uh, or or temporarily I would need this to be actually below my planting area so I actually need to send this uh, to the planting area layer and and I need to send this to the to the bottom of the pile and these whilst whilst I'm still in my selection tool up here you see um, you see these four buttons and so within within one layer elements could be above or below each other so within one layer so this is not between layers the, these these symbols are not layer symbols these these symbols are just uh, elements stacked one on on top of the other and so right now this um, this pavement is is above my planting area but they're both in the same layer as you can see the same layer is highlighted if I click if I click the shed the layer switches to structure so if I click back here this is planting area if I click back here this is planting area but you can still see that this is above I'm going to press plus this is above my planting area so what I'll do is I'll click this button to go below and that's now below if you have more than two elements like that and what you can do is you can use these buttons and then you'll be sure that uh, your template can can always be uh, can always be on top like that so I'm gonna press minus to want to bring this into view so if you remember uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to click control D to have another instance of this element I'm going to click shift and click into my uh, element that I want to cut out or cut into I'm going to go to um, path and the difference and now it's following 
exactly it's it's exactly where I want it to be and to um, and so now with um, uh, by highlighting the element I can go to layer and I can finally move this to my structure layer there we go so it's there so I can press 5 have a look at what it looks like uh, and, and now I can uh, I'm going to press uh, plus just to want um, to to bring this in and and now what I can see is obviously the the path that I've drawn goes way inside my um, peer area and so I'd like to move that and so I've highlighted it by clicking into it I'm going to press N for the node tool I'll click here and I'm just going to um, so, so clicking in between again clicking in between nodes highlights two nodes and if I drag in between the nodes I'm going to modify the um, uh, the uh, the line between the two nodes I don't want to do that I'm gonna press Control Z all I want to do is move those two nodes together like that um, I would like to actually I wonder if I can press shift and highlight more nodes so I'm highlighting more nodes and clicking them like that can I can I move more then see I can now move four I'm going to press number four I'm going to press where where am I where am I number five okay number five so I can see everything I can press number three just to see um, my element and so if I with with all these four highlighted if I just grab one of them I can I can move all four of them so I wanted to move all four of them outside and maybe about here and I'm going to press plus a few times and zoom back it so I'll click in one node I'll click the element between I'm just going to take this, snap it to the path. I'm going to highlight one node and click into the path and click three to see what it looks like now. And so now what I would like is maybe I'm going to switch off my snapping just in case. And I would like to move this a little bit closer to here and this a little bit closer to there and and so now so now the, the the path is nicely curving but it's not really fitting this area there and from what I remember this was this was a bit more uniform um, so again this is this is freehand I'll move this out a little bit like that maybe like so but here there's a bit of a challenge because um, what happens what happens if I move this oh. see now I've created a gap so these adjustments will make changes what if I what if I highlighted this element in between the two nodes and click insert new nodes into se into the segment so now I've got one more node to play with so I'll click just into that node and I'm going to press 3 to bring this element into view just pan it a bit what can I do with this how can I how can I move it about a little can I move it like that could I do okay could I move it like this a little bit press S press escape how does this look like is this a bit closer now I think it's a bit closer now I'm still eyeballing this this is just still simple design so this is N press N and I'm just adjusting it slightly now it's a bit closer to uh, cl closer in following to onto um, my path I can do the same with um, with my path I can just uh, gently change it a little okay 
and press S, escape, press 5. So this is what it looks like. Now I've got those areas um, those areas sorted. So now the area below uh, the main the main access path that's all grass and when I discussed this with uh, with the client we decided to um, to leave it as such so I just need to um, to go to my I'm, I'm in my access I actually treat grass as, as access as well um, and I'm just going to press oh, no, that's not what I wanted I'm going to click in here plus plus and bring this uh, into view and I want to click B for my Bezier tool and what I can do is because because all of this is now outlined see I can I can actually draw and and snap to um to to all of these elements I don't want to snap to the path I want to snap to the smooth node that is somewhere here can I actually find it if I can't then I'll uh, modify it later but what I can do is I can snap to these nodes so I'm drawing and I'm already drawing fairly accurately there we go I can't find it so I'm just gonna click there and there and back in there I'm just actually going to use the fact that it's not aligned there because it's going to be easier for me to um, to modify. So um, press S for my selection tool. I'm going to go to my fill and stroke. Uh, I can change the um, the stroke width already to three. And, um, and now what I can do is I can go to my color palette and this is this is my grass. So click into that which didn't do anything because I need to um, have my element highlighted and I need to press D for my dropper tool click into that and you can see in the bottom here the um, the fill has changed and I'm going to go here shift click into that and again the colors have changed so what if I press S for my selection tool and what if I press 3 because this element was selected I was able to, um, to to just navigate to it I would like to now um, snap the remaining elements together and to do that um, I'm going to press N and see if I can find these smooth nodes so this found the smooth node and the smooth no where, is the, where is it? where is the smooth node? Ah, there it is I've, we found the smooth node, so which is great. But you'll notice that the issue is that this is not smooth. This is a straight line, and now for me to um to to align this, that's not that easy. So what I can do is first first of all I'll do press S, and because they're in the same layer, so this element is is in access and this element is in access. They're both in the in access. I can use this feature and I would like to send this uh, to the bottom not the very bottom what have I done? Control Z okay I want to be in access uh, da -da -da -da. send this below below okay so now it's below the access path so what I can do press N for my node tool I'm gonna switch off snapping for now and I'm going to go deep here, deep into there. Can you see can you can you see what I'm thinking of already? I would like to basically make a cutout so that they fit properly. And so uh what do I need to do? I need to press S, I need to click on my template, click Ctrl D to make a copy above it. I'll click away just to ensure that what I'm selecting is just one copy so copy that sorry click that shift click into the area that I want to cut out the template is already above it as you can see <coughs> I can go to path and difference and now it's perfect so that's that's now prepared 
um, then this area here so all of all of this area um, is is a planting area as well and I can do I can do I can do the same treatment so I can start with my node um, sorry with my Bezier tool pressing B um, I can click on snapping so that I can be accurate cusp node cusp node I can click somewhere there just click the smooth node which is great uh, cusp node yep yeah, fine uh, that's fine and that's fine and then finish in the origin so that's drawn press S fill in stroke stroke style into three pixels there we go uh, and then I want to move here press letter D now in my dropper click I'm not sure if it set it it didn't for some reason let me try again D click okay now it's set shift click for um, for the stroke and there we go so that's now uh, that's now done uh, S for select let me look at the layers so this element is in the axis layer um, I would like to be in planting area uh, and so I'm going to go to layer move selection to layer planting area move it so as you can see if I want to um, to cut out the path because the axis path is uh, in a layer which is already above the element that I'm cutting out I'm guaranteed that my template is above the uh, the element I want to cut out on the other hand this planting area is not you can see that it's below it so I want to move it to the top so now now both templates are above the element I want to cut out so I'm just going to ensure that uh, the nodes switch off the snapping that my nodes are well inside the elements I want to uh, follow there we go and do it like so so they are definitely inside okay uh, press S for selection so I want to first uh, do it with this so click that control D to make a copy click away click in there shift click into my other element press path difference so that's done uh, now I can do the same here control D click away click in there shift click that path and difference and that's again that's a perfect element within my planting area and uh, I'd like to finish here um, we can actually just leave it like that but um, uh, when I when I spoke with the client we decided that uh, we wanted uh, a few planting areas um, <coughs> But I'm going to um to, to leave it as that because in the next tutorial I would like to um show how to uh start arranging the the plants that we want to put in there. So thank you very much for um for this one. It's been a, a, a bit of a long one, but I hope that um that it showed uh a few useful things in terms of how to how to use uh how to use the tools available to um to ensure accuracy uh on the on the drawing. Uh, right, so thank you very much and see you in the next one.